that is really like the producer comes in there. Like when I do, if I do put together a show, I I want there to be another voice in some form or fashion in what's coming up with. Like I recognize the limitation of my own ideas. Like I can come up with stuff, but it's only going to come with so far. And I got a bunch of things that I got to do, and I don't have time. Like I used to have time. 10 years ago to just come up with stuff, right? Like I don't really have like that same ability. So like both of those things that you pointed out there, Gabe came up with the idea of the book club. Um, and he, he tries to get us in a bit more high-minded directions on things. And I'm always a little somewhat apprehensive about how many people we're actually gonna get to read these books, but we actually get them to do it. Um, and so I am always somebody that leans pretty heavily on the input of those people. If for no other reason that if I'm gonna ask somebody to work on a show that involves me, my face is going to be on it always, right? Like the, the personality of it is always going to have some measure of me, but to make it better, it's going to be adding something that comes to somebody else. And people that you work with, they deserve to feel like they can see themselves in the product that they're working on. That's how they're going to feel invested in it, is if they feel like something, like they are part of it. And that in a lot of ways, like those are, those, those are the things that allow the people who work on your show to be part of it. So I'll circle back around the book club, because I, I did like those two summers that you did, but talk about the difference, if, if you can, between working with Gabe and working with Shannon. Yeah, so I, uh, I worked with a guy named Shannon Penn in a radio show uh, with him, did for ESPN, but I started working with Shannon in 2007 when he was a part-time producer at the local station in Raleigh <coughs> and I was doing fill-in work. And then when I got a Saturday show there, um, Shannon was made the producer of that. And so for like where we were at that point, it was absolutely perfect. We got the same frame of reference. Shannon's a master's degree in journalism, so he's like way overqualified to be a radio producer, you know, and all of those things. And what we had was a interpersonal chemistry that kind of fueled the work that we did. Um, I worked with a new guy named Gabe Assane, who I did not meet until I was working on the show. Uh, Shannon and I are two years apart in age. I am 10 years older than Gabe, but Gabe is from Napa Valley in California. I'm from Houston. Like we don't like, our, what we have in common is not nearly the same. And Gabe also like, yeah, like me and Shannon came up in this. Me and Gabe did not. That's just, you know, it's just a little different place. So the difference really in working with them is Gabe is coming with them. Well, let me ask you, man, like thinking about 2007 and starting out doing radio. Right. How did you think about what your persona was going to be? How would craft, craft yourself as, as a disembodied voice? Well, the persona was going to be me. Mm -hmm. That was the only option. Like, like, that, that was, uh, I'm better at being me than anybody. That's one thing I can do that nobody else can. Like, the persona was always going to be me. Now, the thing, the things when I like, first started doing radio that I started thinking about and figuring out were it was kind of the, the surrounding stuff. On it. So what I wanted to do with the radio show, and what I like to do with most of the stuff I do, is it, it, it's it's big tent. Mm -hmm. Like the intention is for it to be something that is broadly inclusive, not something that is going. You don't what you don't want with your product is you don't want people to look at it and say this is not for me, right? You would ideally like for people to look at what you're doing and say I see some of myself in this. And so part of it for me was the trick is like okay. How do I get these people who might, as a default, think they don't see themselves in what I'm doing? How do I get them to see themselves in this? And that can be in the music that you.